Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Gamecast, episode 590. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? And Tony Korkanakis. Ahoy! Uh, welcome guys. Welcome listeners and viewers. We're on Twitch, Tuesday nights, 8 o'clock. Gamecast starts around 8, 45, 9 o'clock sometimes. Depending on how long we chat about um, whatever the hell we talk about in the movie cast. Who knows every week? I'll tell you, this week was um, some shit actors and... Some shit companies throwing in some extra additives that you don't need to have. Um, but so tune tune into that one. But this is the Gamecast, so welcome. Um, Corey is unfortunately going to join us next week. He was traveling. His flight got canceled. That's a whole can of worms we don't have to get into now. Um, but uh, it unfortunately happens. So uh, yeah, guys, what have you guys been playing? I mean, I, I I did get to play Elden Ring at least. That was my. I didn't contribute much to the movie cast. What we've been watching, but uh, I have played more <clears throat> Elden Ring, and I've taken my time. I haven't killed a boss yet in in like a week um no that's not true that's not true actually i've killed world world bosses i've gone through and i've gotten to new parts of the world and i just kill world bosses that i can use my summons for um but i'm still on uh oh that's so oh. bizarre that i just said that to Corey here and he might be coming on right now look out look out um or he's accidentally joining but oh wait wait he got video breaking news folks Corey's joining us for Gamecast. Gamecast 590. Um, yeah, we literally just kicked it off. Um, so, yeah, I've been Elden Ring world building for myself. Uh, I've actually decided to bear, you know, time time to in, in, improve my equipment. Radon's armor, Tony, mm -hmm. uh, which is heavy. Uh, yeah. So I had to then level up my stamina. I still can't equip a bow <laughs> with my armor on, but... Uh, <coughs> I can have my katana sword and two hand that, uh, and wear his armor. Um, my my plus fifteen katana right now. So uh, I've been leveling that up too. I did the smithing stones quests so I can buy smithing stones. Okay. I got the bells. Uh, so yeah, I, I did a I, I did a lot of world explorations, open maps up. Uh, I just didn't in, advance my boss battling yet. That's but awesome. the funny part is the funny the funny part is I feel like I'm going to do really well in the bosses, but. There's that red guy from the end of the um, the witch quest. I still haven't beaten him. He still owns my face. What's his uh, name? He's like a normal enemy who I have to kill at the end of that quest for the witch. The end guy. He's a red character in the in the pits yeah. of like some cave. Yeah, I'm just uh, trying to remember does, his name. He does so much quick damage. It's like very tough for me to get my attacks off um, and still dodge him because it's. Is it and then the, he drinks potions. Is it one of the huh? black knife assassins or? I think so. And he drinks potions while you're hitting him, too. So I'm like, he's like me. Uh, and so I just, I haven't killed him yet, but I haven't really spent a ton of time on him. As like I said, I was building up my character. Uh, so that's pretty much gaming-wise it for me. Um, like I said, I had a lot of stuff going on this week in the movie cast. I had a smart bed, sleep number bed, uh, which has proven to be my bane of my existence at the moment because I fiddle, fiddle with it too much. And I was in a bowling bowling tournament all weekend. Actually, bowling tournament next weekend too. So, I'm gonna try my gaming in as much as possible. But I got to bowl 18 games next weekend, so I'm not uh, not looking like I'm gonna have a lot of time to to um, to play some video games. But uh, yeah, furniture delivery stuff like that, house stuff. Unfortunately for me, um, Mike, what are you even playing? Um, I'm still playing Horizon. I think it's 115 hours now. <laughs> I did beat the main quest, um, and actually I am three achievements away from Platinum. The Platinum is not too hard in this, though. Uh, I have whole quests undiscovered and undone still. I'm nowhere near uh, completing all of the arena stuff or upgrading completely everything, but uh, I did finish the main story. It, it's... It's definitely set up for some DLC or sequel, I'll say that much. Um, it's good overall. There's a few uh, eye rolls with, with some of the writing, in my opinion, in different places here and there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm wrapping it up pretty much. I'm, I'm just trying to max out some stuff. I, I looked at what the three um, achievements are, because two of them were hidden, and one I knew about already. Um, and, you know, one's just upgrading a pouch stuff. That just takes time to find animals. The other is some stupid thing where you have to glide for a long time. I might do that if that's the last one I need to do. 
But the last one is there's melee arena pits in this game as well, which is different than the other combat arena where you fight the, the dinosaur robots that you're supposed to fight in this game. And these things suck, these me melee pit arenas, because they really added a bunch of melee options to this game, but it's still all basically R1. So all of these combos are just pressing R1 at different rhythms and waiting for the animation to reach a certain point to press it again. It's just stupid. <laughs> and you need to do it to, like, break blocks and, and like, you know, start a resonator blast, which is a uh, thing where you can shoot an arrow and blow something up that you marked with your spear. Either way, uh, I need to beat two more things, two more enemies in the arena pits, and it's just stupid hard, with, and it just does not control well, and I really wish there was a block or parry, because they, they added all this depth, but no block or parry to it. So yeah. you're just getting wrecked, and, but the enemies, some of them can block and parry, which pisses me off, and these are, these are human enemies, by the way. There's no block. I, I would... There's no, no. block. What the Dude, fuck? Mike... Mike, I have a fix for you on this. I have a fix. There is a <laughs> melee style game that came out. It's very challenging where you can block and parry. Yeah. Uh, Tony, Tony, how's my recruitment pitch? Is that pretty good? It's sure. Isn't Target got a uh, buy two, get one free. It does. It does have one. a buy two, get one free. You don't even need to buy Honestly, one free. There you go. You don't even Honestly, need to like, buy two. You've seen I enough mean, I know. I'll, I'll get to that game it's eventually. Time. But the, the thing it's is, time, I, I'm man. not, I'm still not, like, I look at that game and there's visually nothing that entices me. I look at him like, ugh. That's and the thing is, like, no, 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 there. not challenge. Just like everything about it. I'm just like, ugh. Like, and, and when you think about a game, all it is is, you know, visual feedback for what you're doing. And I, I don't know. I, I hope I can get over when I get to that. There's, but we'll there's so many. There's a lot of cool bosses in that game. Because uh, when I watch I footage of this game, I'm like, oh, my God, this looks like a PS3 game. It's it's just like clunky <laughs> looking. PS3? And it's just dreary. What PS3 game are you referring to? <laughs> I saw someone play just fighting some sort of like chunky looking werewolf monster where i felt like i could see the polygons and well, there was that elden werewolf that werewolf elden ring meant, footage that werewolf was very um almost cell shaded style for some reason in the game that was kind of weird throw in i know what you're saying uh <laughs> but there's like the dragons are incredible in this game like the look of everything looks really good i don't know what you're you need to regardless check regardless I, i'm i plan to but not until i'm done with other things for sure because it's you know, I don't. I don't need. I'm not in a. Walk I don't away. feel. Just that. walk away. I might <laughs> with the, I might with this. <laughs> I might with this one melee challenge thing because it, it's broken. The melee stuff. No, but is I do. Stupid in I do get it though. Like you're like you. You want to platinum, but you put the time in. Like the time. It's is close. Done. It's right yeah. there. It's looking yeah. me in the face, and I'm like, I could do this stuff. Although I also I might want to just do the actual mm -hmm. side quests. I haven't done a little more than platinum it so like, we'll see i yeah. i might have one more week left in me of horizon um overall you always, you always take a break and come back to it i mean it's not going anywhere i, I guess I, I don't know i feel like from one giant time sink open world game to another might not feel great you definitely wanna, going back and forth you want to you want a palate cleanse. There's no question. And and I I, I I do plan to maybe uh, do the uh, the the Kaido files DLC for Lost Judgment in between, which came out last week, which shouldn't be too long. No, uh, that should be most, pretty. Most... That's probably a good one. Yeah. Yeah. So I I might do that as well. But you know, I do plan on playing Elden Ring maybe in a week. Or I two. I just can't wait to hear your feedback from it. Like I'm I'm, it's, it's been an interesting game for me like to the point where like i felt like not playing it like i'm not gonna play this anymore and then i'm like <laughs> no i mean i need to give it more time in terms of the story i also need to give it i've come this far too like i'm at this point where i'm like i've i've come this far i have i'm going to finish this game but i also do want to my my idea for me expanding my what i'm doing in the game now is to try to, to get more into the story and, and that that part of it um mm. but combat wise i mean the game is is very good i i i there's, there's no knocks in this game whatsoever for that. Uh, I wish it wasn't quite as challenging, but there's exploits you can do, and there is so many things in this game that you can make it easier for yourself. That See, that's another I like, thing I like that, that that worries me a little bit is, you know, I come, the last hard game I played was Sifu, and 
that has directional dodges, not these giant slow rolls, and <laughs> and parries. Weird. Parries are what you need to do, and and I it seems to me that parries are like so hard they're like not viable in Elden Ring. Is that true? They're viable if you can pull them off. Like if you could do it, it's gonna, you're you're yeah. They're you pull it off, you do mass damage. Is but do you know? Is it like can, can you tell what what counts as the right time? With all these weird looking different enemies, or no? If you learn them, sure. So not you have me. to die no, to everything. I cannot. Already. I cannot. Oh, yeah, you're you are going to die. die. You're absolutely you're going to die. No, I'm 100% going to but die. But you need, you need, I know, but you need to die to learn the parry window, is what I mean. For oh, every individual enemy. Thing. Yeah, I mean, to, it to doesn't counter, look yes. obvious enough. I will say that um, I, I beat Radon, by the way, like one try. Um, but. They're they're patching that. Apparently, they screwed that up in the last patch to make them weaker. Yeah, they that, that's, nerf, how they pulled, that's how I pulled it off. They yeah, super mm-hmm. that's how. I, when I said I beat him first try, you're like, "What?" I'm like, yeah, I was like, I, had no problem. I was like, this <laughs> boss was a wall for at least two hours for me. He he hit hard, but I'm like, I drank a potion. I'm I'm good. Like he's not hitting that hard. And then yeah, I'm like, I don't know what people. Yeah. Well, it's it's weird because now I'm seeing all these people and they're killing him in phase one. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like phase two, like is just bullshit. <laughs> like you have no idea. Like. The, like, no, he did, was pretty low did, by the time I got phase two. Did you see phase two, Jim, at all? Or? Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I did, but he was he was not that bad. I got he was down to like um, bro, a third of his health bro by phase fucking two. Fucking summons like fucking homing meteors and shoots them at you. It's like, oh, okay. What am I supposed? No, to No, he do was focused thing? on my NPCs the entire time. He didn't really shoot me much at all. Uh, I don't know what they did, but <laughs> they really screwed that. But that's how I had. That's why I did. It. I just I rode around on my horse and he shot my NPCs. Yeah. I kept summoning him. I didn't <laughs> yeah, even hit him. Fun. I, I maybe did 100 points of damage against him. <laughs> Let my, that's all I did. I really didn't go uh, anywhere near really him. Funny. I didn't even shoot. That's really yep. funny. So, yeah. but that's why I, I like I couldn't understand. But I, then I read they're yeah. fixing it, and so I'm like, oh, I exploited that shit. Yeah, <laughs> so Mike, but by, by the time you get in there, Mike, the point of that is they'll have a lot of it patched. But there are still yeah. so many easier mode parts that um, I got what I wanted because. It's not Dark Souls where I'm like I'm on my own and that is it. Uh, there's the summons. There's the oh, I, again. I, you know, I fully understand that. You know, the way to make the game easier is to you know wander around and over level pretty much or whatever the equivalent is in this game of over leveling. Yes, that's what I've done to counter my inability to be very good at this game. <laughs> uh, but anyways, so is that all you played, Mike? Of course. <laughs> all right, um, Tony. Uh, let's see, just uh, some more Kirby. And same thing, just you know, more. Just power cleanse. I heard the yeah. boss fight at the end of that game was awesome. Okay, I'll let I'll let you know. Um, I'm probably That's, like thirty percent or so. I just 33%. I just saw like people's minds were like blown mm, yeah. that Kirby could do that, pull yeah. that off, like that kind of a game. So I'm I'm interested to see what the hell that means because yeah, I have yeah, no I'll, idea what that means. I'll let you know. Um, okay. And then uh, actually, because of something we're, we're gonna get into the news, I was feeling like shooting something. So I was like, uh, me, Nick, and Bill were talking. I was like, you know what? How would you guys feel about installing PUBG and seeing how that that is, uh, you know, in the year 22, uh, 2020, 22. Um, so when did that game come out? Five years. They're celebrating its five-year anniversary wow. right now. Yeah. I can't believe it's been that long. Yeah. So uh, we've installed that. We played a couple matches. And um, whew, uh, it's still a good game. Don't get me wrong. But um, first of all, it went free to play. Um because I don't think their numbers were keeping up. With, yeah, their numbers aren't keeping up with like Apex and obviously Fortnite and stuff like that. Um, like I said, like the market just got super saturated, um, and I just think their development was a little too slow. Uh, which again ties into the news. It was, it was, yeah. But core gameplay loop is still fun. Um, it's just weird now because like they definitely leaned to like the Fortnite direction because like they have like wacky costumes now. They have crossover like. I bought the 2B near skin for, you know, whatever. Because if you own the well, game, uh, yeah, if you own the game, um, and now obviously it's converted to free to play because they didn't want feel bads. They're like, hey, here's currency equivalent to whatever you know you would have spent. And I was like, oh, that's a fair thing. Like, you know, you just give you, um, you know, that and like some like legacy things where it's like, oh, you're in a legacy account, so you're special and stuff like that. So that's fun. But yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's fun. It it really is um, a little slower though, and. Um, but, like I said, it still holds up, and it's uh, amazing to see, like, even five years later, the Battle Royale, um, you know, thing is still going on strong. Yeah. And I know we even had, like, a podcast, like, Phaser, Phaser, you know, new whatever. We had a podcast titled that. 
So it'll yeah. be interesting to go back and yeah. listen to that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool. All right, Corey, I know you traveled. Um, yeah, so I was away. Did you get? I did you catch to, an in-flight uh, movie, though? <laughs> <laughs> well, so like um, after the podcast last week, I had a, I was going the following morning right away to the plane. And I went to Florida. Went to Florida. I was planning on going for like a four-day weekend, essentially. Well, for a long week. Sorry, not for five days. About five days-ish. And, uh, well, four days because I was coming back Sunday. But my plane got canceled. My flight was canceled on Sunday to come back to New Jersey. And apparently, like, this was across the board, like, a lot of airlines are just canceling flights all over the place. Uh, I was flying JetBlue. That 25% of their flights on Sunday were canceled. 15% of their flights on Saturday were canceled, apparently. And so I had to try to reach out to support to try to reschedule the flight because they didn't just book me to another flight. Um, and this is the second time this has happened to me, like flying JetBlue, like in a row. Like, Blue, last Blue. time I went to Florida, they canceled my flight <laughs> down to Florida, but they rebooked me to like, like immediately. But this time, they just like, well, if you want a refund, we can get you a refund or a credit. Um, but I was like, well, it doesn't help me to get back. I need to get back. So uh, we, I called them. They said there was going to be like a, basically a four-hour wait to wait on hold. And they said, well, if you don't want to hold on the phone, just reach out and you can talk to someone on chat. So like, go to chat. It says, it'll be a two, over a two-hour wait for the chat. Uh, this was at 7.30 at night on Sunday or Saturday Sunday morning at 7 50 is when I get a response from that text message that I sent I said oh are you still interested in getting support yeah, respond now I was like well no I'm not interested right now because I was able to get my uh, uncle to help me out and he's got like some inside line because he flies like constantly so he's at their like top tier of their customer level and so he was able to get me um I'll have to talk to someone in like 40 minutes, which he said usually he gets somebody like in five minutes. Wow. And so I got someone, they were able to get me on a flight. And uh, because I have two boys, we needed three rows together. So they said, okay, we're good. So, uh, so they set me up good. Sunday morning, I'm looking, because like, oh, I got my text message. Here I am waiting for, like, for this response. Like, well, I don't need you now. And then I see that uh my seats are not all together so like i have different seats all over the plane when they said they would be all together so now i needed to reach out to them again <coughs> so I, I so i was like oh damn now i gotta reach out to them again so i texted them again and that was eight hours it took eight oh. hours for them to respond to wow. me wow holy uh, hell that's good yep. that's insane so, and the, the great thing about this, or the great thing, was that I didn't even get to get on a plane until today. T today, So I was supposed to leave Sunday, and today is now Tuesday. I didn't get to get out uh, until then. And uh, yeah, Thank God yeah. you were not staying at a hotel. That could have cost you a fortune. And Well, yeah. yeah so, I mean, I was very fortunate. I mean, I was well, seeing I Twitter all over the place. I would have demanded, been like, you provide me a hotel. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the thing, is like everybody like this was that's the problem everybody was like having these issues i was all over twitter uh it was all over social media and the, the, the only thing they were doing was giving people like a credit like oh yeah hundred dollars yeah hundred bucks have for, fun your, with for that. your troubles yeah, yeah. No, no, a, day's, a day of work and a it's day like of work crazy itself. because it yeah. used to be they work. used to put you up i mean they they used to yeah. put you up they used to pay for that stuff like well, they used to reschedule you, you automatically to... too like Corey, like you just yeah, said you have it had a reschedule and when i had my flight canceled like years ago i was in miami and i got off the i was on a cruise and i got off the boat i'm like shit my flight was canceled but i'm like oh I've, never mind i've been rescheduled for like five hours later but i've automatically been rescheduled so i'm, I'm good but um yeah, it was crazy it was just terrible timing because it's like a big spring break weekend for a lot of people and so, I heard the weather had a stuff too. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But yeah, so that, I didn't really get to play anything. Uh, watch anything? You were on the movie I did cast. Watch you can... King Richard. I did well. Nice. Watch King Richard. How was it? You know what? <laughs> Let's see what this like this Oscar winning performance was about. And it's like I don't see an Oscar winning performance there. <laughs> yeah. <It's not> really <laughs> All right. Like, right. I mean, remember when I called Christian Bale? I was like, that this guy's winning an Oscar for the fighter as a supporting actor. It's like, I guess like this that acting was phenomenal. Yeah, you know, like I don't get it. He was better, like acting wise. Like he has done better in like other movies. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know any of the other actors. 
I didn't see any of the other performances that they're up against, but how's it going? Whatever. Okay. Well, that's about it. All right. Gaming news, guys. Um, see, as Tony had previewed before, uh, we had to talk about what was it? It was Halo, Halo right? Halo being the Halo. infinite. Out of control. Uh, my, my, my game of the year from last year has disappointed me and yeah. everyone else who liked it. So, um, I, I think the moral of the story here is, is 343 is a shit studio. Uh, they can't handle Halo. Whether they not be a shit studio, they definitely can't handle Halo. That's what they can't handle more than anything is they pronounce a game a service game and then provide almost no service for the first they, five, six months I, of it. I love how the like, comments were that the community is out of patience. And I'm like, they've been out of patience for a while. This has left the charts a long time ago, and oh. you have provided nothing for it. Um, and that's the problem. And there was so much excitement too. They had momentum. No, it, they just it, like, it, ran with that momentum. This could have they been. They launched like, it too hmm. early. It should have been out. Like if it launched now. Too let's say early. Now. This was supposed to be like three <laughs> years ago, dude. Uh, let's, they let's... hardly added anything though. Anyway, so it would have been it. about the same. <laughs> let's say it. let's let's say they launch it. Let's the show comes out. Paramount Plus. Oh, fuck and you launch the show. The... Forget it. Forget... <laughs> no, but you understand what I'm saying. It's too different. Yeah, two okay. times the marketing. You launch the game now with the same features you have when you launched it before, and it gives you that much X amount of time to get ready for more content. Like I just, it's six more months. I suppose like, that's really they, what they saw that it's holiday window. They There's wanted nothing. it. They wanted the holiday window. They wanted the holiday and window. We were, Phil uh, wanted we were, to make that we... promise. He wanted to make that okay. anniversary promise with twenty years of Xbox. And again, playing it, we were all aboard for the first month yeah. or two because the, the content was that was out. there was good for a month or two, but. Now we're at like about six months, and there's still ten total maps. There was one added the whole time. There's a couple cycling game modes that come in and out, but aren't really all that different. There's very poor stat tracking. The matchmaking they redid, but it's not good. The progression has always been bad and continues to be bad, and with the customization, <clears throat> you know, no right co- next to it there. No co-op campaign. And. Still. No, and the and of course the co op and the forge are still not there. Yeah, I'm um, yep. But no, it's terrible forge, because you know. it, it it's the potential for this to be huge. a great. It, it, I mean, again, when it when we were, it was first out, we're like, oh, Halo is back. It is here. This yeah, is great. That. Yeah, I remember saying that. But not enough stuff has yeah. really happened. They just weren't it, prepared to add anything. Everything that they promised. Hasn't happened. Yeah, so it hasn't happened. It's been silence All since, the, since like, December. If if you are playing, there, you're like, oh, this is great. This is a nice little tease of what's to come in the next month or two. Not next. You know, I mean, we're waiting half a year already, and they're still in season there. one. They're still in season one. <laughs> no, so it's still yeah. season one, and I've been done with the the uh, battle pass for this season like three months ago. I think yeah. done with it, and. So there's no reason for me to really even try to progress anything at this point, other than they get some shitty emblem thing each week that they throw up there that they recycle through just on different weapons or you know vehicles or your gun. And that's the this is the death kiss of a, a live service game. And I know here's the thing: like we talk about um, you know bad games all the time, games that you know are lackluster. You know, uh, example like No Man's Sky or something like that. But like that mm-hmm. that wasn't portrayed as like a live service game. This 100% was like, hey. This is a live service Halo game. That's why we're calling it Halo Infinite. A decade of Halo. A decade of Halo. And it's like, okay, well, we're six months into the into year one, and um, out, you got nothing. Still season one. Yeah, still season nope. One. No Man's if, Sky, a non service game, had more content in six months. They yeah. stuck by the if, game like crazy. If you are only playing ranked, you have been playing the same four maps. That's it on repeat <laughs> for six months there was a fifth and then it got kicked out because it wasn't balanced well for that that's it wow Four. You so can't, you can't wow. do that in this day and age and, or or if you're just playing big team you have the same five maps or right. four I, it's four or five either way but there's about how 10 total not that's released it. More, a map like how really? hard is that it how not... hard is it <laughs> come like, on like it boggles my mind because like Here's the thing. Like we're talking about arena shooters, Halo yeah. arena shooters. We're not talking I mean, about this like company how about, needs to be just you know rooted like from the. Like, how this, how the you have maps? Yeah, you there. have maps in your history. You could grab a map and retool it for your Halo. That's another thing, though. But, but people, sorry, they can't people say like, 
they talk to the community manager and what they the the stuff that they release is like oh we're not doing we're not bringing back old maps we're, we're they're all going to be new so at some think, point you've got to be like here's some actually, classic stuff i think the you guys talk the um yeah. Apparently the creative director talked to people today or something like that. So I'm just trying to find that. But you guys okay. So, that. I mean... Project management is just terrible in this company. And this company has <laughs> been known for this. This is like... we this They, they were created specifically for Halo. <laughs> their right? name Specific. is a Halo reference. Yes. yes. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. their sole purpose. They weren't, they weren't making other games. They weren't doing other things. They were like, all right, we're getting the best people that we know how to make Halo. People from Bungie that wanted to continue with Halo... We're going to put you into a studio and you're dedicated to Halo. This is your job. And in how many years has it been? Like, yeah, five, they've watched six it. years. Listen, man, yeah. people, people liked four enough. They thought it was okay. I four think it was, was a step. It's just four's coattails. Yeah. I maybe. Mean, the thing is, and then no one liked five. Anything well. with this serious franchise that has been on the level of what Bungie was doing. So four, doing honestly, like four had, like some bungee blueprints to follow still yeah okay. and, i mean uh... and, and the thing is it's just again we're talking about arena maps the can i'm sorry it is going to come off a little entitled or preview but like there's no way you could tell me that a halo arena map again just like a 4v4 or six on six or whatever like not a big team battle like can take that long to develop when you have you know all this, all this uh, battle royale stuff going on. Like Fortnite changes their yeah. maps like once a month, right? Like they have these different events where it's like, oh, like we're changing up the map drastically, and it's this huge deal. They make it a huge event and stuff like that. You have the Halo Infinite single player campaign um, map, right? You're telling me you can't like cut chunks off of that and and use Mike, that, Mike, in some way. Mike, your specific your specific wording, Mike, was ranked. There are other maps in this game that they're not using, and you haven't yes. gotten them adapted to ranked yet. Well, all the you thing gotta do is, is balancing. No, I, no. The, I think there's about six or so maps that are small enough for the ranked modes, um, and the two they just decide are just for quick play, and then the other four are big ones for the big team stuff, and they're totally different. Like they're way yeah. bigger, so in, in, um, that's why it's the way it is. You've had six but, games worth but, of yeah, Halo it's, it, maps that you can pull from. <laughs> so it's, still, even on. if if if. All of the maps were, you know, you could use them for everything. It's still just 10 maps at this point yeah. for a modern game that's been out for six months. That's true. And that's true. It's, still not, yeah. it's still not good enough. I mean, you just throw people a bone and, like, pull like pull a map that's already been, like... It's some classic crazy. Halo maps. Just say, hey, listen, guys, we're going to do a classic pack. We're going to do it. Yeah. But yep. uh, I think, so, if anything, awful. this just proves, again, not every developer is well-suited to live development. Life games as a service, live service, whatever you want to call it. True. Absolutely. Very few companies can do it well, <laughs> despite Destiny Blueprints being out there for, for years, a decade now, uh, at least. Um, you have Fortnite for the past five or whatever years showing you the cadence that you need to be setting. You know, shit, I mean, even like Fallout 76 has <laughs> fucking roadmaps that they hit. So it's just, it, it, to me, um... it's just incompetence from, from 343. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, well, don't, didn't, don't we know that. Management. Don't we know that they like hired and then got rid of a bunch of contractors for this yeah, project? That, so that's on my they percent. clearly under, underestimated the amount of people they would need to do this. So they they might have had them enough people, and then all of them are no longer right. employed. And right. they're, they're like, oh, we can we can update with like a skeleton team, no problems. No, yeah, and, no, you can't. Right, and the, not at the pace you need. And the other Microsoft thing is, needs to redo that whole strategy absolutely. of their yeah. That's their absolutely. big problem is the contract work crap. Too. Yeah, <laughs> but the other thing too is they're they're and we talk about this from time to time too. The engine that they're running is a custom engine. Okay, so first of all, if you're coming in as a, co a new contractor now, and it's like cool. Well, I can't contribute much because I don't know this fucking engine because it's not a commonly used one. Like just yeah. fucking use Unreal. Like goddamn. Well, Microsoft, I will... pay the fuck up. <laughs> you just yeah. paid so billion say, though, dollars for fucking. That part of of what I enjoy about the game is the 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 way the physics work and you know how things interact in ways that probably wouldn't happen in, in Unreal. Um, but I don't know, man. Unreal is a really deep engine at this point. Like every game runs off of Unreal at this point. Yeah, Unreal Five engine or four. Like they could have done this game on four, no problem, and it would have been a lot smoother and better to run. Um, it could have been out earlier. Who knows? The probably could have like what's his name? What's what they call him? Bob, the terrible looking Craig, one. 
Craig. Correct. They could have looked great. Yeah. Could have looked great with Unreal Four. Yeah. Um, and, I, and and you know, at the end of the day, it's just Halo. Uh, and, I, and I've said this before. I said this. I think when Halo Five came out, it just it's not a premier top tier FPS brand name anymore. Like you look at the top the top FPSs right now. What is it? Call of Duty. Uh, it's it's Apex Legends. It's Valorant. Okay. Um, it's not first person, but Fortnite. Those are the games that you're competing with now. It's not fucking nobody's anymore. <laughs> like, yeah, you're yeah. not king yeah, of the hill but... to make an in-game kind of reference. You're not king of the hill, yeah. so you need yeah. to act. Like... King of the hill is just coming. I think that's oh one of the the new things that is just coming. Which but the, uh, but again, what makes it sad is they were right there. They were right there yeah. months ago. Yeah. That that yeah. they could they were in that conversation. Call of Duty was having a relatively down year. You know, Fortnite yeah. is eternal, but, you know, Different it wasn't, audience, you know, like, so peaking or anything. Yeah. yeah. So they had their chance, and, you know, it's, they just let it waste away over the months. Yeah. yeah. No, seriously, it was, like, the perfect time for Microsoft. Because, like, Destiny delayed their expansion. Yep. Uh, Battlefield was crap. Oh, I forgot to mention that. It's Call of Duty. Was, yeah. 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 Call of Duty was down. Overwatch was having some issues. Yeah. It's, like... Everything it was like set up for Halo to like, like that, be the new right, that, and that's mind boggling to me. Like, like I remember giving Overwatch game my personal game of the year, and I said as long as they keep their cadence up, you know it's good. But they had a good two years before the content really slowed down to a drip. Mm-hmm. We're not even again six months, six months, and you're out of content. Like, come on, like. <laughs> Well, it's no, sad. like one yeah. month and you're out of content. Well, yeah, yeah. Six, okay, six months of, and your your fan base is, is starving. No and speaking of starving, the the I think the the spark or the match here today was somebody involved in the brand management Halo. And I, I just say for the record, I understand that people that are doing this are not the programmers and developers QA working on the game. Yeah. But for some reason, yeah. the Halo official Twitter account decided to tweet out today: "Buy your Halo Infinite cookbook today." And that yeah. just fucking set the fan base <laughs> off. And I don't, no, I don't so the red, the Halo Reddit had to be shut down because people were just in a frenzy. I'm like, holy shit! Like, I don't. It's crazy. I don't get it. I I don't even remember anyone eating in the game. Right. It's just a fucking stupid <laughs> merchandise. It's merchandising. merchandising. <laughs> but it's just. Yeah. It, I just think it's so funny. It's like the fan base is so starved that they see a fucking cookbook and they're like, "Fuck Halo! Fuck Microsoft!" Like. <laughs> Holy shit! It's like <laughs> somebody, somebody made a uh, maybe somebody did an image next to the cookbook with uh, Craig's yeah. uh, face on it with a chef hat. I thought it was amazing. I'm like, please just <laughs> make that your cover. Uh, but um, yeah, so it's right. sad, uh, let's let's talk about. Uh, we're gonna finish with the better news. Let's let's talk about. Well, who knows if this is good news or not? Tomb Raider, new Tomb Raiders in development from Crystal Dynamics. <sighs> it was announced today. Um, I'm putting it in the is middle this a live of the news game. <laughs> I don't know. I'm putting it in the middle of the news category because we don't know if it's good or bad. So, um, well, that's it. the, it's going to be bad. Mid tier is all Tomb Raider ever can or will be. So it had such sense. great promise, and they just failed to deliver on that promise. Like if it's Crystal Dynamics. I don't have any. It is Crystal that, Dynamics that's again. Exactly what I said. Yes. They've that's been it. stumbling lately for sure. Yes, and they stumbled. I mean, they got worse and worse progressively as their um game went on and i loved to uh, two raider one i really enjoyed like i thought it was a great game the reboot for that uh two was okay and i think i've mentioned how many times on here i hated three it was just a, such a fumble that uh best way to say it it's a fumble um that i yeah i have never played a tomb raider a single so, one ever they're they're fun and i think that this being developed on unreal 5 is a great step you don't have to worry about an engine it's done Yep, it's done for you, uh, as we mentioned just a second ago. So, like again, middle of the road. It could be hopefully good. It's just a matter of how much are also expectations going to be from the studio, uh, from from Square, um, and don't make it exclusive. I think we can all agree on that. And that's me. You know, obviously, I love like listen. I'm an Xbox guy. I love playing that on the Xbox. Uh, there's zero reason to make this game a fucking exclusive game. Make it multi-platform and make it proper. And hopefully it's good. I mean, here's the thing. Like, you know, uh, real quick, Crystal Dynamics. I, I think the studio is just bad. Not on the level of 343, but I just... I just, I, I think they, 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 they punch up and miss way more than they hit. Like, that's all I'm going to say. Yes. Like, I don't, I don't understand how they got these fucking franchises and how, and how Square Enix keeps giving them, like, opportunities. Like, it's... it's it's crazy. It really is. Yeah. Um, well, Tomb Raider's a big name. I'm sorry. It really is. Tomb Raider's a really Well, the real well, reboot was good. So it was successful, yes. Right, right. No, the reboot was yeah. good, the first one. 
But it's just yeah. so here's the thing, and I think the mistake here, like it's, I think that the the conversation has changed in 2022, but by far, if if the first game was Xbox exclusive, I don't think it it would have been as bad of a backlash. But the, yeah. the first one being on both systems and PC, obviously, and then the next one being just Xbox and PC leagues, like just like fuck the PlayStation users, like it, it was just a mind boggling decision because like you're you're on the platform, you're not on the platform rather that you has uncharted that like is is yeah. ape, Tomb Raider is now aping, and you mm-hmm. just think that's a good idea, like you. You You've also successfully rebooted this thing by making it everywhere right, available. Right, and right, exactly. You, yeah. Yeah. You rebooted yeah. It. Also, <laughs> also traditionally, people consider you know Tomb Raider a PlayStation oh, franchise. Yeah. Yep. You know, PlayStation um, 1 type is, thing. This new game a uh, continuation of that story? Or it, is it, it looks like it's supposed to be. They didn't stay. So, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I will say, to... now that Uncharted is done, there's not another series doing the same thing better out there sure. and around. So sure. They have, a, they have an opportunity. They have an opportunity. My fun, The funny part about this is this game is not coming out until... 2025, 2024, somewhere in there. So, so maybe there will be some sort of Uncharted <laughs> yeah. that pops out. You think it's going to come in 2024? I'm giving him a benefit of the doubt. I think 2025 is more likely. But uh, by then we'll have another Uncharted game, I'm sure. I think maybe. 2025 is generous. Oh, okay. I, I didn't bet. I, no, I can't. No, I can't. Oh, that hurt. No, I can't do that one. My body's like, what are you doing, you idiot? Don't say that. <laughs> I mean, it depends on how far they are, but like, I just, I, I think. 2025 is doable. I really do. Three years? We haven't seen yeah. any gameplay footage. They don't delay anything, though. Players. No, I still think. I still think. How many years do we see years. Avengers, dude? I know, but I still think. Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's true. Oh, all right. Whatever. It doesn't make this gen, then. <laughs> <laughs> you don't um, make this gen. It just probably will be a cross gen title. Cross gen. Yeah. Let's talk about Capcom, because we've. In the past, it's kind of common the news. I might miss something. Uh, the strategic investment in its personnel. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you posted this last week, That's and right. uh, I. No, this is the best news of the week. Oh, after, it is the best. News. We just talked it's about. Just, it's been yeah. so much shit since then. It's like I kind of forgot. Yeah. It's like okay. So I left it here for a reason, and I had to say it's because of our podcast because we have had the sla- the, the the saying "fuck Capcom." Mm. Uh, we have done that. We I think we've titled an episode "fuck yeah. Capcom." Something we like that. We have done that. <laughs> But at this point, I got to give credit, massive credit to Capcom, uh, and their changes they're doing at their company are impressive. Uh, re completely overhauling their HR, uh, a, a new head of the uh, offices uh, for that for that department to, to oversee that things are getting properly done in their gaming company in terms of uh, fairness uh, and and so you know inclusive inclusivity, um, and then also not only that. I was reading that they increased their base pay for their employees, mm-hmm. like massively, They're and that's like fantastic. That. I mean, you don't hear that nowadays. It's like everybody's fighting for that to happen, like for, for that to happen, and they just did it as yeah. a company. Yeah, and you, you know, know, I posted this because obviously, you know, I'm all about developers, and and, and I, frankly, anybody I uh, involved in the gaming uh, building is developer from QA to you know lead yeah. producer yeah. or lead creator and stuff like that, but. Uh, I think finally, like finally now, we're 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 starting to see the the momentum shift where these companies can't just hoard all the profits anymore and just give the developers breadcrumbs. Where it's like, again, if you're top talent, well, like, like I've talked about how many times, like Drayson Shard's book, like burnout is a real thing in the game industry. It's like, cool, you work on like one, two, maybe three AAA titles, and now that's ten to fifteen years of your life. You're not young anymore. Like you're not going to be able to do fifty, sixty, seventy hours a week. You're not going to be doing yeah. crunch time. You're not missing the holidays with your family and stuff like that. Like, and people just leave the industry. And I think finally, because Namco actually did it too. Shortly after the Elden Ring launch, they they did it themselves a new um, uh, base salary increase uh, across the board and stuff like that. And now Capcom's doing. And I think it's the, them finally reckoning, like, oh, you know what? Let's do something ahead of this like incoming it's, wave. It's, it's impressive, um, right? Yeah. And that's how you retain that talent. Yeah, right? I mean. I think the most, I think the more impressive stuff is the HR. This is no offense on Japanese companies; they're very traditional. And so that's that's all I'm saying is it's, it's impressive to see this. Yeah, yeah, conservative. Yes, it's impressive to see these changes coming from Japanese-based companies before anywhere. Right. And I think it's it's awesome to see. Like, I just it's really cool. Yeah. Um, uh, it's just you know because like I said, they're very traditionalist, and uh, you know I, I it's it's really cool. Uh, and I hope 
other companies see these changes and say, hey, this is working. Oh, we need to implement this stuff. We absolutely need to do this. Make the, And then we've always heard about like, let's make this a better work environment. They're going to say that, but we haven't seen any actions based on, on uh, that. My credit you know raises I mean? paying workers more to use out. He's like, I can't, I can't, I can't risk them hearing this. <laughs> my workers are going to walk right out. No, no, um, no, I think it's just impressive uh, that, business uh, owner Mikey has left us right when you, like, you heard about the pay raise, huh? <laughs> what? I guess so. Uh, no, you, you dropped for a second as I mentioned pay raise. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm all against pay raises and everything <laughs> as a business owner. Yep. <laughs> Minimum wage uh, is no. too damn high. Minimum wage, yep. So profits, but, uh, bottom yeah. line, right? Bottom line. Yeah. Well, yeah, but, I mean, yeah. As far as like talent goes, that's what you, I mean. If you, that's how you get it. Successful and you have a, a game that's successful, you want to continue that success. You need to. You want to talk about like employee uh, employee success. dedication and like crunch and stuff like that? Yeah, that sucks and it exists. But in a positive environment where they're being compensated properly, uh, it doesn't hurt as much. It doesn't. You know, I mean, like I've worked and more hours. Games getting delayed more now too to to you know help with the crunch and mm-hmm. things like that. Yeah, so it's, it's awesome. yeah I, mean, this is, I I do feel a little weird talking about this when we were just killing three four three for their glacial pace of updates <laughs> because they do mention a lot of the times you know a priority zero in their community thing, which is to not crunch their employees so sure. maybe that's it maybe this is why things or, are slower like, like maybe sure. they can't do yeah. maybe just the pace that we're used to traditionally is not possible anymore in general i don't know but still when you call yourself a live service game there's there's something or, you got to do in six months right and like, here's the thing. i'm a not map, i'm dude. not I'm, I'm just saying a map right i'm not saying they yeah. should crunch i don't want them to crunch but still i would think four months I would think in four months that's enough time to have at least put something out and you'd be in a season map. two again. A and, map. And, it, and it's not like the like it's not like that's, a, that's why season. that's why I look at the the contractor thing I'm like that's where you probably fucked up. Yeah, well, well, yeah that's, that's the problem. It's absolutely... That's the problem. Right, because they don't Microsoft um, doesn't value its employees. That's it. Yeah, I I can't disagree with you on this. Absolutely, just, just... they they need to re- reevaluate these processes. 100 percent. it's yeah. not going to work for them going forward it's not yeah so but, uh getting back on track with capcom and i mean I, I think this is the thing where like you know success breeds success and you look at the past couple of years i mean i haven't said fuck capcom in a long time you know i've been very yeah, happy yeah. with their output <laughs> it's, we, i know we moved on to konami we've we've moved uh, on, we on to konami, konami nice. right konami's yeah. public enemy number one but i mean it was a complete you know uh 180 from you know uh the days of, like marvel Cap. Uh, Marvel's Capcom Infinite, Infinite. Yeah. Um, oh, fucking all that, mm-hmm. all the trash, all the shit they, all the, all the shit they put on Mega Man too. They never gave us Mega Man. They were just like, ignoring right, it. Right, and, then, a franchise, and yeah. then in the past yeah. couple of years, we've gotten Mega Man proper, Mega Man Collections proper. Um, yep. We've got Resident Evil Two remake, which was which which is stellar, absolutely stellar. The best way you could possibly do a remake of a game, and you know, look, I even call it like inspired EA to go back to Dead Space. You know, like they literally cited yeah. that as the reason they want to go back to Dead Space. Uh, you look at the, the success that they've bred with Monster Hunter uh, over, you know, the past five, six years with World and uh, Rise. And yeah. Like that. They were so successful. And now they're investing back in their company because the happier your employees are, the better games they're going to produce. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what we wow. see in the next three, four, wow. five years out of Capcom. I know. Mind blown, right? Like that recipe is just yeah. like, oh, shit. Like, that's, that's so complicated. Like, like hours wise. You know, when you're happy, like myself, personally, like I, I used to work like insane hours and I worked at another company that I just, I did not enjoy. And I, I three o'clock in the morning kind of things. And I'm not saying I like to work those late hours anymore. However, in a better work environment, those hours are not as, it doesn't hurt as badly to have to work those hours on occasion. You know what I mean? Like it, it's a different thing when you're at a good company. And that's the point of what I want to see in the gaming industry, like because we don't have that there, and and seeing this happen, it hopefully starts the the mm. the yeah. dominoes down. You know what I mean? Like that's what I'm hoping to see. Yeah. And, and Microsoft, big time, because that's the big that's a big problem right now mm-hmm. is that side of things. Yeah. Uh, you know their their practices are not feasible anymore. You cannot do this in this industry. You have to fix that. Yeah. So and uh, yeah. You know, Anyways, not not related to game development, but. Uh, pretty historical amazon workers in new york uh, successfully got their uh, union approved or voted in whatever yeah. the terminology is so hopefully that's a good step and hopefully uh, others are inspired by that because yeah yeah uh, yeah american companies uh, 
Which I mean, if you if you get more. the Japanese kind of style companies like where they're transitioning like this, and 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 other companies follow suit, you don't need unions as much. I don't. I'm not against unions right. either, but I'm just saying that if it's a positive work environment, you don't need the unions. Yeah. If we're, you know what I mean? Like yeah. the idea of the union is to protect those employees. Uh, you know, but if it if it's a good environment, you don't have to. And and maybe we can get that trend anyways without having to unionize. Um, I, I maybe it's still pop. Maybe you, maybe you should should still do that. I, that's not my that's not my job when, i don't know that but <laughs> when things get know. a certain size you're gonna need it but yeah. yeah yeah gotcha gotcha all right that's gonna wrap up 500 well, hopefully uh, street fire 6 is gonna be amazing now yeah so. uh, i i mean the thing we'll is see. i do expect that to take yeah, maybe and, a bit and, longer and talking but about, you know for bring it closer again the biggest thing they can do is just be like street fighter 6 all platforms cross play like that, that's honestly the best thing they can do for that game because uh, again Street Fighter Five going PlayStation exclusive hurt that franchise so much. Like it just, yeah. it just. Didn't, oh yeah, you know, it had its other problems yeah. too. But like just the fact that it's like, cool, you like this game. It's like, cool, it's it's yeah, PS4 PC. Yeah, let's cut off half the audience of this game and. Uh... Again, yeah, it's it's like like they had the success of Street Fighter Four. You look at that, how successful like, again that game brought Everywhere. back the fighting genre for that time period. Yeah, like back into the limelight, like esports and that whole thing, like you know, evolution and all that stuff. And then they're like, what's a good idea? Let's get a money back from Sony and only release on on the PlayStation. It's like, yeah, that's when no, you know yeah. we said fuck well, Capcom, you know. So yeah, now, that was it. Now we got another uh, turning a new leaf here, and hopefully, and hopefully and I mean they haven't announced it, so fingers crossed. If if they don't, if they're like, yeah, this is PlayStation Five exclusive, I'm gonna be like, mm, I don't know about this. Might have to might have to start bringing that fuck Capcom. Yeah, there's yeah. no way, no way. So. Well, I will say, yeah, I don't think so either. All right, that's gonna wrap up 590 of the Gamecast. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We will uh, be covering you more news next week. We're on Twitch again every Tuesday night, 8 o'clock. Um, we're on YouTube the following day, so you can subscribe to either channels. Uh, iTunes, Spotify for the audio versions of this podcast. Check them out. If you have any questions or comments and or would like to join the Discord, as we mentioned earlier, we haven't mentioned that a little bit, You know, feel free to message us on any of our allyoucangeek at gmail.com, on Twitch, comment us, whatever. Let us know. You want to get in there and let us know. We'll, uh, we'll send you the invite. Thanks for tuning in. We're out.